So the last time I made one of these videos was back in 2016. I was living in Ohio at the time with my parents. Uh, now I'm in Brooklyn and that among 75,000 other things has changed in life. I'm sure you can relate. So it's December, it's the time of the holidays, almost. No wait, when this comes up, it'll be a dear We're all stuck indoors, y'all. We're almost into a second lockdown at this point and we've pretty much become our own bartenders, our own baristas, our own chefs. The fact that it's getting colder outside, the fact that we're putting on a few more pounds because we can't really go outside as much, uh, we're kind of delving into those warmer drinks. I'm talking about the Irish coffees, the hot toddies, and my favorite, the hot chocolate, with just a little bit of a special ingredient. All right, so I'm about to switch up the entire vibe in this kitchen. We're gonna get started on making this hot chocolate. So as I grab the pot that I'm going to be working with, the first ingredient I'm thinking of is what kind of milk I'll be using. I generally tend to go for whole milk, but if your body isn't super friendly to dairy and milk, unsweetened coconut milk is a great alternative. But for now, we'll be sticking with whole milk. So we're going to need three cups of milk for this recipe. Catch me with those precise measurements. Forewarning, I cook like a chemist. Turn that heat on, let's go. Next up, we're gonna need two to three sticks of cinnamon. I found that two sticks is perfect for this quantity. Three is just a little much, but it just depends on how cinnamony you wanna make your drink. So for the chocolate, grab your favorite kind of chocolate. I generally work with the 70% dark chocolate by Lint, but we're trying the Gear Deli 60% cacao this time. Now just start to whisk it all together and you'll see that chocolatey richness come to life. Next, add two tablespoons of sugar. The recipe says a pinch of salt, which wasn't specific enough for me. So I threw in about half a teaspoon of salt in there. Whisk it up and bring it to a boil. Keep stirring it occasionally. I usually give it about six to eight minutes on the heat. So a trick I learned to test for consistency is by getting some hot chocolate under the spoon and running my finger down the middle. So long as it isn't super runny, it has great texture. It's a little too thick for me here, so I'm gonna add another half cup of milk and stir again. All right, let's try that again. All right, that's perfect. Next up, the bourbon. The bourbon was a very kind gift to me and you'll just need about two ounces, but honestly, 2020 was too much. Do we need the hot chocolate? I, mean, I could just stick with the bottle. All right, fine, two ounces it is. But there you have it. Just whisk that up and there's your hot chocolate. Now add a little whipped cream to the top. I really recommend this because the flavor can be really rich to some. So figure out what's good for you. I love whipped cream. It's been a really rough year. Whether you're with company or not, this drink will definitely boost your spirits. Go grab these ingredients and let me know how it goes. Cheers.